What's up guys? Welcome back by this new video. Today, as I already told before, we're going to do the master premiere. And this will be my team, Chandelure, Chestnut and Togekiss. And today I will mainly focus on the Chandelure with the fire and ghost type, incinerate as fast move, flame charge and shadow ball as charge moves. And actually it's the only fire type that can be used, I think, in the Master Premiere. Maybe Skeledurge could be. Charizard? Mm, I don't know. But at least it's the best one <laughs> for me. So, yeah. At least we're starting in the first match. Great lead against Togekiss. Opponent switches into Gyarados. That's a great Pokemon. However, this Gyarados is not a Dragon Breath one. So, we'll deal more fast move pressure into me. That may result that I have to shield it. I think I have to, <laughs> unfortunately enough. it will be an Aqua Tail. Yeah, I think I had to switch into my Chestnut. I think that will be better option to go for. But it's all right. Opponent Aqua Tails me. Yeah, I could have made it to uh, Simultaneous KO, but I didn't want it, so instead I'm going here for an ancient power. She do does not shield. Oh, thankfully. Poor, otherwise I never would be able to KO this Togekiss. So going into my Chandelure. You know, I'm not going straight f Oh, no! I want to say I'm not going straight for Shadow Ball this time, but no. Opponent, she switched perfectly into a shadow snore like okay th this just does a lot of pain to me a very and beautiful catch in my eyes it's a really nice plate by the opponent opponent goes for body slam i can thank that i think only one time unfortunately enough i'm going then for a very simple frenzy plant we'll definitely deal some okay damage however opponent shields very hard I think at the moment it will be better to go for two superpowers instead of a frenzy plant. So making it here to the first body uh, superpower, I mean. Opponent lets it go, no! Because she knows that if she throws in ancient power, she yeah gets rid of my chandeliers. Oh, she's playing it perfectly. This is a true, yeah, true one that plays the Battle League a long time. So just really nice play. It's absolutely deserves this win. And uh, I would say let's hop then into the second match. We're going right now against Jake Clark. We're going against Annihilate. I think I can stay in here for now, or maybe I will switch into Chestnut, I think that's for now a better lead, so I can Frenzy plant down. I will wait, let this Ice Punch go, unfortunately enough it's an Ice Punch, but that's okay. Going then for a very simple Frenzy plant that will absolutely hit hard. However, our opponent knows that and perfectly uses a shield, but that's fine. You know, I can throw in a shield as well. That's not a huge problem. So Ice Punch nicely shielding it. Going then for a very simple Frenzy Plant here, seeing how this one will go. Opponent shields, not a problem. And then snipes me off with that Snorlax. So yeah, because this is a Snorlax, I have to go into my Togekiss. I have absolutely no other option. <laughs> so yeah, the only the thing I have to make is to an Aura Sphere. And then I will be able to KO this Snorlax. Opponent goes for Body Slam. I can tank that twice, so not a problem. 
It will come another body slam. It's okay. However, my HP is beginning to get a little bit low. So that's quite hard to get, but at least I'm going for the outer sphere. KOing dead Snorlax. Opponents may return into their Annihilate. No, instead they are going into Primarina. That's quite of an interesting Pokemon to see at the moment. I know that that Annihilate has got a Shadow Ball ready for me. So I, I have to be absolutely yeah, careful. This, if I'm right, or oh, this will be hard. I think it's a disarming voice. Perfect. And I can I could survive that move, so then Shadow Ball and yeah, that's just a very brainy move. Nice IQ move. <laughs> anyway, one win to one lose into the third match. We go against Marco Hex. Starting Chandelure into Gyarados, actually not a good lead, so I will switch straight into Chestnut. Opponent, it's a Waterfall one. Yeah, this time I don't have Thunder Punch on Chestnut, but it's totally fine. I can handle this. I will go for a straight huge Frenzy Plant upon Shields. Interesting to see that. Then goes into a Conkeldor. That's a Pokemon we, I think, I didn't saw yet before. I don't know. But at least uh, Frenzy Plant does massive damage. Absolutely love that. I, I absolutely don't know the moveset. I know it has close combat. Brutal swing, okay. <laughs> I guess. Going then for Frenzy Plant once again. Seeing if the opponent wants to throw in his final shield or not. He will. Okay, I know his other move would be something with fighting, I guess. So because of that reason, I will just go into my Togekiss. And Togekiss can just handle this, hopefully. Oh no, it's a Stone Edge. Oh no, <laughs> that, that's quite bad. <laughs> So yeah, opponent returns into their Gyarados. I have to shield. I have no other option here. There's Equatail. Hopefully I will be able to make it to an Asian... No, I won't be able to make it to an Asian power before the opponent KOs me with a Waterfall. So I have to let this go, unfortunately enough. Okay, so I'm in a very bad spot. Absolutely didn't expect it at Stone Edge. So opponent played it very nice, makes a catch on the Swampert as well. Okay, that's that's not a huge problem. I made it to the Flame Charge. So that's not a big problem at the moment. Opponent gives me a free Incinerate. I really appreciate that. However... I'm a little bit, yeah, I have to throw in a move and opponent can KO me because I cannot make it to another move. And two water types, yeah, that, that's quite annoying. <laughs> and I couldn't do much against it. So just a really nice played by the opponent. So one win into two loses into the fourth match of the first streak. We're going against Alex something, I don't know. At least we're starting Chandelure into Metacross. That's definitely the best lead we possibly can have. Opponent will switch, go straight into an Annihilate. I'm going into my Togekiss. Togekiss can absolutely handle an Annihilate, even with those Ice Punches, if he has that one. Yeah, there's the first Ice Mod Punch. I can think another one, so absolutely not a problem. It should be another Ice Punch, I guess. Hopefully. Okay, perfect. So I won't give too much farm again. Yeah, for that Metacross. That, that's okay. Unfortunately enough. Oh, I can make it to the Aura Sphere, no way. 
Yeah, I think the more recommended move is Flamethrower, I think. But I really like Aura Sphere on my Togekiss. So yeah, at least I can throw in so beautiful incinerates into the opponent. Opponent goes for, I think maybe an Earthquake it will be. I don't know. Yes, go straight for the Earthquake. Opponent in the back has got a Swampert and that's good game. Because I have my chestnut, and he is double weak to grass, so he will commit. I hope so. Hopefully not a sludge wave. <laughs> Maybe a potential surprise. But yeah. He, oh my gosh, he has sludge wave actually. <laughs> no way that he got us that move. I'll go here for Frenzy Plant. Okay, so he's still trying, but yeah, actually he's still lost. <laughs> so here comes a Hydro Cannon. I will let it go. Because it's still Chandelure video. Oh, yeah, I wanted to finish it actually with Chandelure, but okay, it's fine. Chestnut can finish it as well. So Frenzy Plant KOs the Swampert, Perfect Swampert actually. Because probably for an hundo or something. But at least I've won. So two wins into two loses into the last match of the first streak. We're going against Christopher Rapp. Going Chandelure into Gudra. Ooh, I don't like Gudra at all. So I will switch straight into my chestnut. Opponent goes, I think, for Aquatil or Thunder Punch straight, but that's fine. I can handle that one or two times. So I will continue. Opponent makes a catch on a Metacross. Okay, good to get rid of that Pokemon as well. So my target kids will be a little bit safer. The Frenzy Plant won't do a huge amount. That's fine. Maybe at least I will get a shield from the opponent. So that will be great going here for the superpower. First superpower at least. Does some great damage. I just want to see what the response of the opponent will be. Will be. But yeah, actually I had to throw this superpower one turn before in maybe. But it's okay. Maybe opponent will let it go. Oh, no way, he lets it go. Oh, no, that, that gives me a good opportunity to save my chandelier. Oh, this is great. Opponent definitely goes into another good draw. We're seeing uh, S, uh, b b uh, Excadrill. <laughs> I, ha I had to think about the name. I will go for superpower. Great damage, love it. Time for chandelier. Switching into my tug because this will be an aqua tail, definitely. So I can just let this go, not a problem. The other move probably will be, I guess, a thunder punch. So that move will soon come in, I think at least. Um. No, it's still an aqua tail. Hmm, interesting. So I can continue. And KO this Gudra. Yeah, maybe I didn't need it to play to the CMP, but doesn't matter. Opponent rock slides me, KOs me at least. And right now, hopefully Chandelure can, yeah, absolutely can KO this Excadrill. And because opponent didn't use any kind of shields, I won. He just needed to sh shield his Metacross and he would have won. Absolutely. But yeah, I've won three times first streak. I think that's quite okay for a new uh, cup slash league. Getting a phalanx as a reward, maybe Hondo will be great or a huge Excel one. But otherwise, I don't really need it. So this phalanx, yeah, not the worst, but still bad. <laughs> I'll claim my rank. Oh, we are at the 2200 elo. That's really nice. 
going for that veteran rank soon, I think. Maybe, hopefully. At least into the first match of the second streak. And guys, we only need three more subscribers for those 500 mm. subscribers. And if you want to be one of those, definitely don't forget to subscribe. And right now we're going against Trop Bellacross. Interesting name. We're going uh, Chandelure into Gyarados. Um, yeah, we'll switch straight into Chestnut. I think that's the better Pokemon to switch. An opponent goes into Metacross straight. Very heavy that I didn't switch into my Togekiss. I will go for two Superpower straight. I think that's the best. So first Superpower. Did some decent damage. Then I will go for a sort of bait. Yeah, not actually bait, but a different move. For the Frenzy Plant. Opponent Shields. Oh, that's actually what I wanted. No way. Yeah, I will try to maybe get Switch, switch Advantage here. So I can handle that Gyarados. However, opponent goes for... A lot of moves here that I absolutely don't like, but that's okay. There's a Meteor Mesh once again. Made two back-to-back -back superpower, not a problem. Going for the first superpower at least. Will deal some decent damage, I think, but not KOing the opponent yet. I really want to see if he wants to use another move, but at least I'm going for another superpower. No, he lets it go. Okay, that's absolutely great. Then he goes into Memo Swine. Oh, I know that Memo Swine has a Baldos as a move. Or no, high horsepower it was, I guess. So this will deal, I think, one hit KO. Oof. Yeah, I couldn't... I, problem with Chandelure, you cannot really make a very easy catch. That's the problem. An opponent will go here for an avalanche. And that almost KOs me, actually. Yeah, a little bit of HP left. And yeah, just really nice bait. And the great starting lead. So yeah, couldn't do much. At least into the second match of the second streak. We're going against... Elja the Hunter, something like that. Going uh, Chandelure into Excadrill. Okay, it's, it's a quite okay lead for me. We are both super effective against each other. Opponent gives me a free Incinerate. Absolutely appreciate that. Opponent goes for Drill Run, I guess. That's not a problem. Then the opponent switches out into Antagakis. I know I'm giving away a free charm but that doesn't matter that i think it's always the case so i will go for two flame charges here that's the best seeing if the opponent would like to shield this one no instantly lets it go opponent then goes into gyarados yeah maybe i had to go into togekiss but it's okay I have still got my Chandelure for that Excadrill left, so not a problem. Opponents will go here for Crunch. That's fine. I will go for Little Over Farm, making it then to a very simple Frenzy Plant. But yeah, no matter how or what, I've already won the game. So Frenzy Plant, decent damage. If the opponent didn't shield. I will let this one go once again. Another Aqua Tail, we will see. Then the opponent returns to his Excadrill, not a problem. I can absolutely handle that. Going for Frenzy Plant here. KOs the Excadrill, he still. Oh no, he commits, finally. Okay. That's great, so one win into one lose into the third match of the second streak. So we're going against Steve, or Stevie, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, we're starting into absolutely the worst lead that can exist against the Gyarados. Opponent goes then into a target kiss. That's awful because I don't have that beautiful move. 
So I'm going here for Frenzy Plants, seeing how this one goes. Okay, amount of damage at least. Going then for another Frenzy Plant. Maybe I had to go into my own target kiss, but yeah, this is just when yeah you have an awful lead. So yeah, going into Sh uh, Chandelure, I think that's the best. I will let the Ancient Power go actually, because otherwise, yeah, that Gyarados will always get the advantage. So I'll just let this go, not a problem. I will throw at least a Shadow Ball into that Gyarados. No opponent has a Guard Jump. <gasps> no way, that's amazing, absolutely. Because Garchomp can absolutely do nothing against my Togekiss. And I know that he has Gyarados, so that means I, I will just shield all of his moves. <laughs> so why not? Opponent Aqua is not a problem. Maybe I don't even want to throw in a move, but I will throw in an uh, Ancient Power on the CMP. That's not a huge problem. I will shield at least. That's the best. Then a uh, Asian power time. Opponent will definitely shield this. Maybe get me an attack drop boost. No. That's fine. I will just continue seeing how this one goes. Opponent goes for another Aqua Tail. But still, that Garchomp won't do any kind of damage against me. However, he still may do something at least. There's the Garchomp. I'm going straight for an Aura Sphere. To deal some okay amount of damage. Love that. So this will be Earth Power Outrage. Earth power. I can still tank. Oh. No, I think opponent made it to move. I had to maybe make one more charm. No way, I've lost. I absolutely thought I would have won. But yeah, it was actually two Pokemon against one. I think I would like to Get a Dragon Tail, Garchomp a little bit more. Prefer that one a little bit more than a Machat one, but it's okay. Really nice play by the opponent. So one win into two loses into the fourth mm -hmm. match of the second streak. We're going against Sneasel Helmand. Going against Gyarados. Best buddy one, not... People really like to throw in a Gyarados. Maybe I have to come with something electric. We're seeing once again, same response like a time ago. Togekiss, not a problem. I'm going for a very simple Frenzy Plant. Another Frenzy Plant time. This Frenzy Plant hopefully will do some nice amount of damage. But it won't get shielded, but that's okay. So right now, my best thing is to just incinerate down. Opponent knows how to play this game. He goes for one charm instead of straight throwing in a move. Very smart. I can let that Asian power go. Incinerate down the opponent. And make it then to a Shadow Ball for the Gyarados. That will definitely be shielded. So that's not a huge problem. Then switching into my target case. Opponent didn't shield, that's quite huge. At least I know I have to shield this Aquatil, but that's okay. I'm still already interested in which what kind of Pokemon he would have in the back. We're seeing Annihilate, no way. Oh, that's great. I won't throw in any kind of move. Just going straight for the Charm Farm down. 
I think opponents will bait me out with his first move. It's just a 50% luck chance. Yes, it's a night slash, no way. So that means I won. Oh, no way. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, two wins into two loses then, into the last match of the same streak, like previous streak. We are going against Urdu Aich, something like that. Starting into Garchomp, that's not the best, so I will switch immediately into Chestnut. Opponent goes then into Metacross. That's actually quite okay. At least I will shield the Meteor Mesh, I just have to do that. So just doing that, going then for a Frenzy Plant starting off. Seeing how the opponent will respond to it. He shields, that's absolutely great. Okay, I'm losing the CMP, but I made it to a back-to-back -back superpower. I think I can tank the Meteor Mesh. No. <laughs> oh no. Okay, it, it's okay. Chandelier can absolutely handle this Metacross. <clears throat> I don't think this is the er Earthquake. Oh, my voice. Just need to drink something. Whoa! I didn't expect that Meteor Mesh will do that huge amount of damage. Okay, at least I will save my Chandelier with his energy. Going then into my Charmer, opponent has a Gyarados, no way. That's great. It's a Dragon Tail one, it's very interested. Even worse than uh, the other one. Uh, than uh, I think a, a Dragon Breath one, so very interesting. Going at least for Ancient Power, got shielded, absolutely. No way my attack and defense got boosted, 10% chance, finally. Having that luck on my side. So I'm shielding this and yeah, no matter how what I've won. This time it definitely it won't happen to me uh, once again. So this is perfect. Opponent commits exactly as I wanted. So yeah, six wins a total already. So two more wins to go to make it to at least eight. Yeah, it goes quite nice. So, Gligar, catching it, I don't really need it. Hopefully, uh, it will sit in his ball, it will be better. So, this Gligar, it's not a terrible one. So, claiming my rank, and let's hop then into the first match of the third streak. So we're going right now against Rare Andy. Rare Andy. Yeah, something like that. We're starting once again at least into Garchomp. That means we will probably see Gyarados as well. Opponent goes into a different Pokemon that we didn't saw yet. And that's a Gardevoir. Very interesting. At least one Frenzy Plant will deal absolutely massive damage. So opponent has to deal... Oh, I won't go for a shield. Okay. At least going for my frenzy plant once again, getting a shield from the opponent at least, so that's great. I don't have to forget that I have to, yeah, wait a switch timer. So yeah, a little bit waiting here. <laughs> then uh, going into my chandelier. Chandelier can absolutely, oh, it could be shadow ball actually. I think I will shield just. Because of that. No, it's ah triple axle. That's unfortunate, really. But it's okay. No! Opponent has got the Tyranitar. I will go here for Shadow Ball after the Shadow Ball switching straight into my Togekiss. This is just to deal some chip damage. So I can uh, charm down a little bit easier. 
and and that Garchomp can absolutely do nothing against me. However, it has won one time. So yeah, but at least Garchomp comes right now. We'll definitely go for, I think, maybe some Centimes, I guess. I will go for Simple Ancient Power to lower the... And then, yeah, completely useless, but okay. It's just equal to one charm and it gives me attack and defense boost. Absolutely no chance that I'm getting this twice in a row. So yeah, so right now I, I have won. <laughs> There's absolutely no way how I will lose this. So yeah. Bone another Earth Power. And then the Tyranitar. A very, very spicy pick, or at least not a spicy, more a pick that we do not really see. But yeah, really nice one. So another seven wins a total into, yeah, one more, yeah, second match of third streak, one more win to go. We're going against Javier. So we're going against Shadow Magnus Zone, absolutely great. However, then opponent goes into Darmantian. That's a spicy pick. This will be Flame Char. Oh. I don't like this one. No, it's a. Oh, ooh, ouch. Rock Slide one. At least I will be able to maybe get a shield from the opponent. So I would really appreciate that. So going here for simple ancient power. Got shielded, that's great. So yeah, for me best option is to wait a little bit to switch timer. And then go into my chandelure. However, Tarmanitan, quite a spicy pick. Yeah, this will be a rock slide, I guess. It could be a flame charge bait. It will be great, but no. I just want to KO this Pokemon. No, it was on the CMP as well. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Opponent is a very spicy one. No, don't 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 be like this. He's shielding it. Oh, then you will get a boosted shadow ball at you. So there's the rook slide. One. No opponent can win the CMP, I guess. He knows! He knows that he could won the CMP. Ah, oh, you have to be kidding me. Maybe I had to go for flame charge instead. So there's the Shadow Ball. Yeah, I won't be at time. Frenzy Plant, I guess it won't deal a huge amount. Maybe I had to go for Flame Charge instead, but it's okay. Going for Frenzy. No, it won't KO. So opponent has one very spicy, two fire types. And one Magnet. I think, oh, I, I am seeing it. That Magnet Zone is... To get rid of the Gyarados, because there are a lot of Gyarados at front, and those other two, but absolutely, to be honest, if someone will do use a guard jump, he will be absolutely dead. But yeah, he was just a little bit lucky that he got into me, but yeah, okay, it's fine. So one win into one lose into mm -hmm. the third match of the third streak. We're going against Bamaloo. Chandelure against Magnezone. Okay, so this time I won't fall for the same trap again. <laughs> yeah, this time it's just a dragon type. So going into Togekiss trade. That's my best one. That's why I have a Togekiss in the Master League or Master Premier. Thunder Punch I can tank once again. Not a problem. I think at least, yeah. Then I will be able to make it to an hour as fear. And maybe get the shield from the opponent. So Thunder Punch, I can barely tank it. And Charm Down made it to an hour as fear. So I'm pressing that button. Opponent waits nicely that switch timer. There's the Magnezone. Will he shield this hour as fear or not? Okay, he shields, he knows. Okay, that's great. Returning to my chandelure. 
I will make the flame charge first to see how the opponent will re yeah, react to this. He shields, that's great. That means he could be weak to my chandelier in the back as well. But we will see. I'm shielding at least. And there's the wild charge. In the back, we're seeing a Dragonite. So because of that reason, I'm going for Shadow Ball. That's my best move. <laughs> Shadow Ball, absolutely destructive damage. Yeah, I will just shield this. It will deal the most amount of damage in this match. So yeah, why not? So then only, yeah, let's finish it with a superpower, <laughs> but I've won. So that's great. So yeah, I've lost count at the moment. I think two wins into one lose, eight wins in total we've made. Maybe we can make it to 10, but we will see that at least into the fourth match of the third streak. So we're going against Nutif right now, going against the... Mm. Dragonite switching. Okay, I'm glad the opponent straight switched as well. That's uh, very nice. So I'm going for Frenzy Plant. Decent damage into that Gyarados. I can let the first attack go. I think that's okay. The other ones I have to shield, unfortunately enough. There's the crunch. Hopefully no defense drop. Okay, that's perfect. Because I, yeah, I have to win the switch. So I can get Togekiss into Dragonite lead. I think that that's the most important one for me. So opponent shielded that frenzy plant. Not a problem. I will shield this crunch, I guess. Aquatil, that's fine as well. So Frenzy Plant, seeing how this goes. Chaos, Dead, Gyarados, absolutely great that I have one shield left as well. And I can even do some little chip damage into the opponent with a simple superpower. So that's absolutely great, love that. Opponent at least drag and breast me down and I will go into Togekiss. And the opponent in the back has got a memory swine, so here is where my chandelier can absolutely shine off. Throw sort of on alignment, maybe he could have made to one power the snow more, but he will bait me out with an... Oh, he goes straight for the high horsepower. Oh, that's great as well. So he will commit, and that's another win. Nine wins at total right now. Great, love that. So into the last match of the video, I guess. Maybe to ten wins, we will see. We are going against Arlandis. Starting into Swampert. Hmm. I'm switching straight into Togekiss. Swampert, it's absolutely the worst lead we possibly can see at the moment. So yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so I have to be a little bit strategic. About this, I will let the Meteor Mesh go. Completely trust in my Chandelure here. If I'm right, this is only a Meteor Mesh, so I will let it go. No, it's the Earthquake! Ooh, ouch. <laughs> okay, I'm messing up a little bit hard here. That's okay, I can handle it. Going for Frenzy Plant, seeing how this goes. Hopefully opponent won't shield it. Oh, sure, he shields. Um, yeah, that means I have to shield as well. Maybe he's just completely core broken by my... Oh, no, no, I'm core broken by his. <laughs> yeah, he just started with a better Pokemon, so couldn't do much against that. And that's, uh, yeah, really nice play by the opponent, so... Getting a squaffet as our reward 
not a problem, at least. Maybe Hundo, but yeah, we made it to nine wins at the end. So that's absolutely great. Love that. Oh, almost Hundo. Oh, I wish it would, would be in Hundo. But uh, yeah, we made it to, I think, 40 ELO today. Great, love that. Ad. And yeah, by Chandler, absolute great Pokemon for those steel types in the Master Premiere. Definitely recommending it. And yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely press the like and subscribe button. You're so close at 500 subscribers, so don't miss that out. And hopefully you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.